Welcome to our daily devotion. The Methodist Church of Barbados invites you to sing, pray, and worship with us as we declare God's glory and celebrate His mighty acts. before you. Create in us clean hearts and restore the joy of your salvation in all of us. Lord, your love is from everlasting to everlasting. Help us to love one another with that love that you give to us. We pray for the sick and ask your hand of mercy on them. Bless the families. Bless the one who will bring your words and the team. May God, Holy Spirit, be with you. In Jesus' name, amen.
Bible readings are taken from John chapter 3 verse 16 and uh, Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 8. John 3 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 8 Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person someone might actually dare to die. But God proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us, the word of the Lord.
filled with the love of God, we can do and see and understand things that we could not otherwise do, see, or understand. We can endure pain, quell fear, forgive freely, avoid contention, renew strength, and bless and help others in ways even surprising to us. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be pleasing in your sight, O God, our Father, Savior, and Strong Tower. God, who created the universe, the most powerful being ever, loves us personally. He cares about our life and wants to be part of it. Even if you've spent your whole life running from God or done things you regret, He still loves you and wants to have a relationship with you. God's love is unconditional and infinite, far, far beyond what even the best of people are capable of. God's love is extravagant, wonderful, amazing, and unstoppable. We are children of God. God, our Father, calls us His children. He delights in us and desires the best for us as he fill our lives with joy and blessings. God loves us so much that he sacrificed his son for us. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 We are important to God, not because of our resume, but because we are his children. Brothers and sisters, family in Christ, we can never earn or deserve the love God offers us. But God is so rich in mercy and he loves us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's grace that we have been saved. We do not deserve God's love. No one does. Hear the amazing news. He loves us anyway. This is grace. God loves us so much that he paid the price to offer us the gift of eternal life. God's love is indeed a precious gift we should treasure. Love can be explained as wanting the best for someone. That is exactly what God intends for each of us. God loves you and I simply because he loves us. We don't have to work for his love. Neither do we have to set ourselves straight before God can pour out his love over us. Our faith journey begins with the understanding that God loves us unconditionally. His love move mountains, stop the rolling seas, heal broken bodies, bones, wounded hearts, transform lives, and set free those held captive by sin and shame. All we need is love. When life seems to spin out of control, we can look to this amazing attribute of God 
and realize that he holds us in his loving palm of his hands. Love starts with God and ends with God because God is love. All God does is out of love. Everything he does is just and right. His love is the purest and truest of all. He loves perfectly. The nature of God is love. He knew before creation that we would be disobedient. He chose the path to save us from our sins. Just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4 and 5. Agape is the sacrificial, unconditional love of God, the highest form of love. Love without limits. God meets our deepest needs and longings of our hearts. Throughout his earthly ministry, Jesus showed his love for others by blessing and serving the poor, the sick, and the distressed. He told his disciples, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. John 15 and verse 12. Brothers and sisters, family in Christ, loving others is one of the most repeated commands in the Bible. Jesus tells us to love your neighbor as yourself. Mark chapter 12 verse 31. He also said, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. John chapter 13 verses 34 and 35. It's easy to love our family, friends, people who are nice, who we like and admire. But what about the people who hate us or have rejected us? How about the people who are just plain mean and unlikable? Jesus said to love them too. Sometimes the most unlovable people are the ones who are hurting and need Jesus' love the most. And who knows, by loving them when no one else does, we may change their eternity. That is the most incredible way to show love to others introducing them to Jesus Christ as commanded in Matthew 28 verses 19 and 20. As we share our faith and make them disciples of God who is love. Remember that God loves us more than we can imagine. He created us to love him and to share his love with those around us. Let us be intentional about sharing his love each day to everyone and watch how he blesses. Brothers and sisters, family in Christ, nothing can separate us from God's love. God's love cannot be limited by anything in the world or beyond. It can overcome anything and it endures forever. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril 
or sword? No. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The love of God cannot be fully explained, but only experienced. His love surpasses every boundary. There are no limits. It does not matter where a person has been, or where they are currently, or where they are heading. God loves. No matter how shattered, closed, or rebellious we are, God loves. Nothing that enters our life is able or sufficient to separate us from God's love demonstrated at the cross. God's love, God loves, allows the Christian to be a conqueror in adversity, trial, and hardship. God's purpose in our lives is guaranteed. What God has promised, he will fulfill. There will never be a place where God cannot locate us. No charge or accusation made against us can stand because God has provided for our justification and Christ is interceding for us. God tells us how great his love is so that we will feel totally secure in him. Through Christ Jesus, we can claim complete victory over the suffering caused by our sins. God's love is gracious because it is unmerited, favorable, freely given and undeserved. It is comprehensive. He forgives sins, which means his love for us impacts us spiritually. He heals our diseases, which means his love for us impacts us physically. He satisfies our desires with good things, which means his love for us impacts us emotionally. God's unfailing love transforms us. God is fully aware of each circumstance, as well as all our thoughts and emotions. All things about us are important to God because we are so precious to him. And he loves us with an everlasting love. Living according to the will of God is not easy. There will be many ups and downs, mountains and valleys, as we journey with God. But no matter what is happening, we can find hope in the unfailing love of God. The steadfast love of God will never let us down. It will never let us go. Let us cling to hope and faith, beloved, for it is the golden cord connecting us to Father God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. 
bearing all my sin and shame in love you came gave amazing grace thank you for this love Lord thank you for the nail pierced hands washed me in your
Let us pray. Father God, in the middle of the chaos we call life, may we be still enough to recognize the love you have for us, your creation. May we trust in your unfailing and unconditional love. As you have loved us, may we love one another. Forgive us for the times when we have forgotten the cost of your love, the life of your Son, Jesus. We pray that we will live confidently, knowing that we are your children, with a plan and purpose in mind. Help us to live for you and you alone. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. for being a part of our daily devotion. We trust it has been a blessing to you. Now together, let us hold fast to his word and may it dwell in all of us richly.